Uh, today I want to show you how to start working on a mandala. Um, so um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this link. And um, the directions obviously on the next slide, which you know about because you started it. So um, what we're going to do to start off with is uh, click on this template link right here. And oops, just somehow I did that wrong. Do that again. <laughs> click here. Okay. And once this shows up, this is the template link that you're going to need. And you can see over in the corner, there's like a little arrow. You see it says a download button like that. So you click on that. Now I'm working on Google Chrome. So um, although I did notice that it just went ahead and opened it automatically for me in Photoshop, which is nice. But the problem is um, if I close up Photoshop for some reason, um, all this work that, I, that I'm going to do today is going to like disappear. So that's probably not a good idea. So before we go any further, let's save this. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. And you probably don't want to call it Mandala Template just because if you do, um, it, everybody, if everybody else is called the same thing, it creates confusion and some other problems. So I'm going to call this my last name, and I'm going to call this Mandala. <coughs> okay. And I'm going to put this on my desktop. And I, probably, if we've done this already, you have a folder for our class that you can put this in. I don't think I made one yet for this particular class. So I'm going to say new folder. I'm going to call it Art Survey. Depends on what class this is for specifically. And then I'm going to add that to that folder. So it's saved. OK. So now I'm ready to actually like do stuff with this. So that's the first step. It's just downloading your document and getting it open in um, uh, Photoshop, and then you're also going to need, just to get started for the next part, uh, your layers palette. So I thought I had that. I'm going to click on that again. And there it is. Okay, so it's, it's hiding down here. So I'm going to pull this out. So I have my layers, I have my tools, and I'm ready to get started on the next part of this project. And I'll show you how to do that in the next video.